Hey everyone, it's uh, high time for an update on the Crack Tea system. Um, it is, let's see, it's Friday, so I'm two days behind on updating the video, but um, I was trying to do it every Wednesday, just things got a little crazy around here uh, the last couple of days. But anyways, here's, you can already see some growth here. This is week two for the Crack Tea, and... You can go back and see the other videos. This is just a hydroponics method of growing. I'm doing lettuces. So I just wanted to take a peek here. Um, you can see the bottom of this is very wet. So the little lettuces, there we go. The little lettuces are growing. And the little net pots are holding everything in. The water level is starting to drop. Um, I think on the last video I said I was going to add the nutrients. That these need but I changed my mind I'm gonna add it this week um, and I just felt like they were such small seedlings that I didn't want to risk burning them with um, nutrients so just like if you started seedlings in a um, in just a regular tray you wouldn't add any fertilizers right away so um, here's another one this guy's doing really good it's big and you can see hopefully you can see this root hanging out of the bottom um, right here so this one's doing exactly what I've seen um, is desirable and that's sending the root down the plant up of course the water level has dropped significantly it's about here so that's creating an air gap um, between the plant and the bottom of the root so that's um, very important for these plants to grow is to have some oxygen they do have a teeny one just starting here for some reason a couple of these I don't know if you'll be able to even see that seedling but a couple of these um, seeds just were really slow in germinating I think the bib one I guess it's I don't know if that's going to sprout, but um, there are seeds in there. So these are the ones that I put under these bright white LEDs, but of course I do have a window here, so they're getting natural light too. So I don't know that my experiment on seeing if bright whites versus uh, these uh, grow lights down here is really going to work. So, But I do have these guys down here in my... Um, grow actual grow lights and they're doing well too so they're all just so small it's hard to tell which one's doing better this one sent its roots down too I don't know if you can see the root here so it's looking really good and like I said I'll be adding the nutrients today so that these guys can get off to a really good start and start to do their magic and hopefully grow quickly. So these are the nutrients I'll be using for this um, hydroponic system, the, the Kratky method here in our mason jars. This was what was recommended on a couple of podcasts, so I'm going to use that. Maybe one day I'll change everything over to using um, worm castings, but for now, I'm going to use this because I'd really like to be successful here. So I'm just going to add, I'm guesstimating, uh, just going to add um, maybe half a teaspoon. It's very concentrated. So half a teaspoon to each jar. Maybe see how that turns out. And um, then we'll check in next week. And see a nice root maybe here. We like to have salads year-round, um, but mainly I would like to grow lettuces for the pigs. So they eat a lot of lettuce, and having it grown right here will save a lot of money. So still got some sprouts 
or um, microgreens going here. I have a new tray of microgreens. This is a mixed tray of spicy ones, so um, that's why some are shorter. But anyway, the cracky is doing really well, and uh, we'll see how they look next week after they have uh, almost a week's worth of nutrients in them. All right, thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. <clears throat> Don't forget to check out our blog at talesfromthemutiny.com. Follow us on Facebook at Tales from the Mutiny. Instagram, Tales from the Mutiny. I guess it's all Tales from the Mutiny. Anyways, we really appreciate your support so much. You have no idea. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.